Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn. I'm from Vigor and Trim, and this is the co-founder of Vigor and Trim, Jennifer. Hi. And we're here today on Short and Sweet, and we're going to share with you an exercise and a nutritional tip to keep you healthy and strong. So here, let's get going. So today, our tip is about balance, and we all know how important that is, right? Well, let me give you a couple secrets to getting your balance correct. <laughs> One, when you're standing, you wanna spread those toes and try to fill all four or three corners. Some people say three, some people say four. So front toe, big toe, little toe, back of the heel, all right? And get those all nice and tight onto the floor. And then another thing you want to think about is holding the core. So we're going to pull up from the pelvic floor and then we're going to knit those ribs together. So pull the ribs together and down. Yeah? Now you try that and then make sure your shoulder blades stay back though. Don't be rounding this way. Okay? Now as you do that, you're going to just make your standing leg, I'm going to use my left, as a post. So we're just going to make that standing leg post-like. Right? Now I'm going to take up that right leg and I'm going to take it forward and just a little bit back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You can always tap your foot down if you need. Yes, you can. You don't have to always keep it up if it's not working for you. Take it forward and a little bit back and forward. I like to think of my back. standing leg like a tree trunk. There you go. It roots me into the ground That's while the other right. leg moves. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to do the other side. So we're going to take those toes out nice and wide and feel that foot all on the floor, right? Pulling up from the pelvic floor, knitting those ribs down, lifting up, making that leg like a tree trunk. And then we just take that forward leg and then back. <sighs> Breathing forward. I find it back. helps to stare at something in front of you that's not moving. Oh, that's a really good point, it's a really Jen. Good balance. Find that focal point. Mm -hmm. S look straight ahead at it. Yeah. All right. Now Jen's going to show you some more. Okay. So we had the sagittal plane, the front and back movement, but life moves in different directions. So let's now do the side plane or the frontal plane, right? So now ground yourself into that standing leg. We'll make it our left leg. Donalyn, how about that? Okay. And then we're going to take that other leg and we're going to reach it out to the side. But I want you to face your toes forward. So facing your toes toward me as you lift that leg out. Lift it towards, up. Towards the camera. There you yep. go. And lift it up and then tap it to the floor. Lift it up. So by keeping your toes, turn your toes in a little bit, Donalyn. In. Yes. So when you keep your toes facing the camera, then you're using more of your glutes. You feel the difference? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you open that toe up, out, you're using more hip flexors. Yeah, right? we don't need to use we those. We want to use the glutes, We right? want to get those glutes working, Come yeah. More here. Our hips flexors work all the time. I like to have my hands on my hips, too, because it helps. That me helps. Yes, it does. Think about where they are and that they're level. Now it you can does. put that foot down. We'll do the Oh, other side. good. I was Woo, getting... Yeah. <laughs> Feel a little endurance working? Yeah. Out? All right. Let's okay, go to the other side. Into the other leg. And all right. Let's lift. Good. Lift. I gotta drop those toes. I don't know toes. how many we did on the other side. I don't know either, but you <laughs> can count when you in, do it, and then that yeah. makes you, oh, I can't lift anymore. There yeah, it goes. A couple more. <laughs> Keep the abs drawn in. Okay, we got it. One more. Good. Oh, Beautiful. Good Shake job. it out a little bit. Woo. That's for sure. Now, our nutritional tip for you today is all about drinking your water and what's going to make it yummy and good for you. One is lemon. I'm going to put lemon in my water because it detoxes, gives you tons of uh, vitamin C, antioxidants, and it's actually alkaline in your body. I know you think it's acidic. It is outside, but when you put it in, it gets alkaline, and that helps prevent diseases. 
<laughs> now Jen does a little different. So I actually kind of get bored of my water a lot. Yeah, I, I like get it. Flavor I it. get it. So one thing I like to do is put cucumber in my water, and you might see this happening at spas. I right? do. Spa I see it all the time. Right? I do. But there's a reason for it because cucumbers have vitamin C. They have potassium that lowers your blood pressure. Right? Does lowers your blood yeah. pressure? Yeah. And it makes water just more interesting to drink. Oh, right? and it has a lot of antioxidants You're right. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. And you know what? It's a good way to lose weight drinking. In that oh, water, yeah. yeah? Yeah, it does. Keeps you full. Right in between <laughs> instead of snacks. <laughs> there you go. Very good. There you go. Well, we want to really thank you for joining us at Act Two, celebrating Act Two and at Short and Sweet. We are at Vigor and Trim where we have a health and fitness membership site for people over 50, and we're launching really soon. So we would like for you to get into our website and hit that subscribe button, and you can get your discount as a founding member now so we love will love to see you there <laughs> that's right and so we will uh, you'll have that information on where to uh, sign up in the show notes so it's good to see you guys nice to meet you guys see you later <laughs> for more on celebrating act two visit our webpage follow us on facebook subscribe to us on youtube and tell your friends celebrating act two is the user manual for the second half of your life